We want to prove that an, an inscribed angle, angle, that's an angle inscribed in a circle, an inscribed angle equals one half its intercepted arc. There we go. All right, how are we going to do this? Well, first thing we got to do is draw the old circle, or well, we're really in trouble. And then I'm going to draw me a diameter, but I'm going to need a center guy. There's my center guy. Let me get a little bit bigger. Okay, that's my center guy. Now I'm going to draw a diameter guy. Uh, about right there. That looks good. There's a diameter guy. What a guy. A diameter guy. And now I'm going to draw. I don't know. It looks good. There's my angle. Let's name these guys. This will be A. This will be B. Uh, this will be C. The center guy will be D. That's a good one. I like that. So how are we going to prove that angle B? Otherwise known as ABC equals one half AC. That looks like a toughie, doesn't it? Aha, uh -huh, but it's not. Step Number one, we drop. Well, well, first off, let me look at something here. And what's this guy over here? I changed the color for a second. What's this guy here, from the center to the circle? That's a radius, isn't it? Yes. And what if I draw another radius from the center to C? Right. So that's a radius too. So those two guys are equal, right? That's a radius. Okay. So those two guys are equal. Alright. Let's get rid of that stuff now. Get some fighting room. And let's take a look at what I got here. Let's let's put that line back. I like it better this way. Now what do I got so far? I got me uh, this R is equal to this R, right? right? Oh, let's get rid of this guy. Alright, those two guys are equal. Hmm. And, oh, what does that make it? It makes it one of those isosceles triangles. An isosceles triangles. So these triangles have what? Two sides that are. Oh, can I fit this in? Equal. <laughs> I think I made it. And the two opposite angles? Well, those guys are equal. Are equal also. Well, the opposite side of CD would be. B, angle B here, opposite side of BD would be this guy here. So this guy is equal to this guy. Huh. How can I show that? I could put two blue lines through there like that, and two blue lines through there. So that shows they're equal. They're isosceles triangles. That's pretty important to know. Because right over here, I got me an angle, I'm going to give it a number, I'm going to call it number one, angle one, and that's equal to the intercepted arc right here, AC, AC. So angle number one is equal to the intercepted arc AC. Huh. But what about angle ABC, this guy here? I said he's equal to one half of AC. How do I figure that out? Hmm. Hmm. How do we figure that out?
Well, what do I know about angle 1? I know that angle 1 is equal to the intercepted arc AC, but I also know something else. Angle 1 is also an exterior angle to that triangle there, an isosceles triangle no less, exterior angle. So it's going to be equal to the two angles B plus C. Well, you say, yeah. <laughs> How do you know that? Well, take a look at angle 1. Angle 1 is supplementary to angle D. All right, they're on a straight line. And angle D makes up one side, angle 1 the other side. They're supplementary, correct? Yes, angle 1 supplements angle D. What other object or angle supplements angle D? Well, it's a triangle, right? So Angle B, C, and D add up to 180 degrees. Well, whatever D is, if you add up angle B and C, they're going to be supplementary to angle D. Well, if B and C supplement angle D, and angle 1 also supplements angle D, then angle 1 is equal to angle B and C. It's that simple. So angle 1 is equal to, well, it's exterior angle to uh, uh, BDC, to B, uh, to, is there an angle to what? To triangle BDC. Now, that makes sense. Ergo, angle 1 has got to be equal to angle B plus angle C. And these guys are isosceles triangles, so angle B, try and fit that in there, angle B actually equals angle C. Ah, all right, so what? Well, then I can say angle 1 is equal to angle B plus angle B. Couldn't I do that? Sure I could. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, let me move this up, get some fighting room now, and clean this off. So, I can now rewrite that to be angle 1 equals 2 angle Bs. Yes? Yes. So, uh, what if I divide both sides by 2? Two? 2 of these angle Bs, 2 times angle B, divided by 2, what happens to the 2? gone, and let's rewrite this now. Uh, well, I could write this as angle 1 over 2. I could write that as 1 half times angle 1. Yes? Yes. I can do that. So, 1 half of angle 1 is equal to angle B. So, angle B equals 1 half of angle 1. But wait a minute, up here, what did we say? Angle 1 was equal to the intercepted arc AC. So, I can replace angle 1 with the intercepted arc AC. So, 1 half the intercepted arc AC is equal to angle B. What do you know? We are too close there. So this guy, let me put him in a different color so you could see it a little bit clear. This guy, angle B, is equal to one half of the intercepted arc AC. One half of that. Ha 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 ha. Solved. Only one thing left to do now. Draw the big smiley face and say, so long now.